Hi, I'm Jennifer Bradley of the Center for Urban Innovation at the Aspen Institute. I'm here with Mayor G.T. Bynum of Tulsa, Oklahoma, and we're talking about the use of data and evidence to drive innovation and decision making in local government. So Mayor Bynum, what, what made you interested in using data and evidence to inform the decisions that you make as mayor? Well, my initial interest in it came when I was a member of our city council, and I had the opportunity to participate in results for America's local government fellowship. And I was looking at it from a performance strategy and efficiency standpoint, and uh, recognized that so much of what we do in local government was being based on gut feel, uh, anecdotal information about what people had seen in the past, not really based on any evidence or data that people had. And at the same time, was aware that we were collecting massive amounts of data from an auditing standpoint, but not using it to make proactive decisions. So that was my initial interest. And in going through the program, that was really what I was focused on and why I wanted to use it when I got elected mayor. Um, what was interesting was uh, after we got in, we installed it. And again, it was around really having a way to lend focus to what we're doing as a city uh, and having clear uh, evidence for the citizens of whether what we're doing is working or not. It was, it was interesting talking with local businesses in Tulsa and I'd tell them what we want to do is be able to measure the outcomes of what we're doing so that if what we're doing works, we can put more money into it and if what we're doing doesn't work, we take money away from that. And, and all these business leaders were like, that's adorable. Yeah. That's basically what we've been doing for all of business history. Right. Glad you guys finally caught on to that. Uh, but that was what my initial interest in the utilization of data was. And what's been the biggest surprise along the way? The biggest surprise was once I uh, came in as mayor and we started installing this, and I realized that not only was the utilization of data all the things that we hoped it would be, it, it made us more accountable to the citizens, it helped us improve efficiency, but what I had not appreciated was the human dimension of it. Okay. And I think that gets overlooked a lot. Uh, one, it allowed us to really move out of partisan philosophical debates about what is effective and what isn't, because we can just show people the data on whether or not something is working or not. Mm -hmm. uh, Another thing is that by doing that, it brought people from across our community to be able to focus on issues at a very detailed level. I mean, that's, I think, one of the values of it is you move away from this broad philosophical context, then you get down to an issue, and then you get down to the data on an issue, and there's not a lot of wiggle room for uh, at least uh, ideological debate around whether your street quality is better or not, or you're actually hiring more police officers or not. Uh, and so that's been helpful. The last thing, though, that has been really valuable of it is it's flattened our organization uh, because the, what we've done at the city of Tulsa is really put out a call. We have 3,600 employees in our organization, and in the past, when a mayor would work on any particular issue, there would be a sort of, you know, the mayor would work with department heads and members of the city council, but you're talking about a couple dozen people out of 3,600 people working on an mm -hmm. issue together. Utilizing data, we put out a call to any employee who's interested in working with us on data analysis. And so whether you just started at the city or you've been working there for 40 years, you have the ability to interact with the data that we're collecting and, and engage and bring ideas forward that we can then test. And so that's really flattened our organization. That was not something that I had in mind at all. It was something that once we just started implementing this process, we realized uh, was happening. And that's been really cool. It's empowered our employees throughout the organization to play a part in testing out new ideas. So I think that's a really important point, the, the human point, both on the, the side of the residents and on the side of the employees. Because yes. so many people think of data as somehow as the opposite of, of human and, and human-centered, but you've managed to, to find uh, a way to connect them. That's exactly right, and I'll give you a great example. Uh, when we came in, we created an Office of Performance Strategy and Innovation. We could afford to staff that with three whole people, <laughs> but we had hundreds because I ran on uh, an agenda of utilizing data to solve problems. 
And so we had people kept coming forward with all these ideas and all these things that we should test out, but there was no way that three people could do that. And so we created a volunteer program we called Urban Data Pioneers uh, that was anybody in the community or within the city government that wanted to play a part on a volunteer basis in helping us test these things out. Uh, we wanted them to come and form cohorts and work on different projects together. I thought we'd have maybe a dozen people show up. And we had 60 people from throughout the community show up to the first meeting. We ended up having over 200 people participate in the program. And that was great because you had, what we found was you had data analysts throughout the community who were working in banks and energy companies and aerospace companies who had this remarkably valuable skill, uh, but yet were never being asked uh, for assistance on a volunteer basis mm -hmm. to utilize that unique skill that they have for the good of the community. And so once they had that opportunity, they jumped on it. Uh, and it's really been remarkable to see what they've been able to do on a volunteer basis, helping us analyze different situations and make our uh, processes more effective. Great. So what would you say to an incoming mayor or city council person who also wants to get more uh, conversant in and use data and evidence to drive decision making? Uh, I guess I would have probably two pieces of advice. Uh, one is that it takes time to turn the culture within an organization. Uh, very few, this is a, a new frontier in city government around the United States. So very few city governments are accustomed to uh, utilizing data to make proactive decisions. Uh, most of them collect that data from an auditing standpoint, but they haven't been using it to make proactive decisions. How long has um, it taken you to make well, this Well, we're two years. I've been mayor now for two years, and uh, that is still gradually happening. Okay. But you have to understand, most people who are going to be department heads uh, within a city government have been there for decades. Okay. And so they're used to the way that things have always been done. doesn't mean that they're resistant to change, but you have to show them how it can benefit the service that they are delivering. Okay. Uh, the other thing I would say, and this was something we took uh, a lot of confidence from looking at cities like Louisville and Baltimore, so you don't have to spend a whole lot of money on it on the outset. Okay. Uh, you, most cities are already collecting this stuff. What you need is a core group of people within your organization and then volunteers in the community who can take the data that you're already collecting and start utilizing it in more productive ways. Great. Is there anything else you think folks should know about this? Um, I would just say that it is, you know, when we look at communities across America right now, uh, it has never been more easy to be isolated and, and therefore divided. And one of the things that I love about utilizing data is that it is, uh, it's kind of a wonky way <laughs> when you look at it, but it is in, in reality, a great way to bring people from very disparate sides of the political spectrum together and give them a vehicle to help solve problems together in local communities. That's what we found in Tulsa. That's one of the things I love most about it. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you.